It's straight jacket day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see a fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Cleveland Burns take on the Insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down Greek street pole and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. Oh, with the brutal hit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, hide the stash. On it. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Third down and a pussy here. Football. First down. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. It's first and ten. And that's another pick. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. One speed, Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. And 
It's first and ten. He could go all the way. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. He's supercharged, and he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed-up play if I ever saw one. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Oh, 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 oh. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. They call the work feet dirty prick. He's so fast he won't. He should apply for the Mutant Volleyball League. Hey, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. Second down and seven. That he did. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, Ben! You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, nice hit. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, 
what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. Second down in a very lot. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Third down and long. He runs it for three. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. He broke free and has open field in front of him. That is such bullshit. This game is bucking red. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm going to write an email for that fucker. And it's first and ten. The bottom toy dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Look at his head. He'll be okay. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's a nice run for a first down. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. One. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Say goodnight to that guy, Rex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Rex. You're an idiot. His cleats are caked in blood and he's on fire! Yeah, he must have just eaten some of those pathways they serve on the top course. They'll blow your ass apart. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The boom dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crushed. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, I got a Swiss on rye with the... Uh... The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. You know what they say, sometimes the best offense is the best offense in the game. Second down and six. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got a pee. Second down and six. Has the receivers covered well. That's a three yard gain on that pass. Third down and three. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. It's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And that'll be second down and four. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad yeah it was probably all the diarrhea yeah, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to mexico forever to crap their pants uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the gas 
exists. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five and like he just put that guy out of his misery and says who's next bam say good night to that guy bricks uh, good night to that guy bricks you're an idiot the offense is running low on blockers they have only two left if they lose another it's game over and that's the end of the second quarter Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. Pow! With the brain scrambler! A man from prison just came out of the field? That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. 
Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire deep. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Ghost So they're going for two. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Good thing you in the NFL, because whatever they juice that player with to make him run that fast can't be legal. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must... Oh, it's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Holy mother of blown up mutants right in his face. Uh, actually, it might be an improvement. That guy was ugly. Second down and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And 
And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. It's a touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. They've called a zap attack. Oh, and he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Never do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the 40. He zigged when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. The 20. He's at the 10. And he recovers the fumble and runs it back for a defensive score. That's a backbreaker for the offense. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> First and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First down in a mile. Another pick. Man, this guy's a 
brick shit. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Second down in a very lot. This quarterback is... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and ten. sure my baby sister can throw further than that but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters the kicker should make this but you know how it goes in this league straight through the uprights the third quarter mercifully ends if this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice! The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they... And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> Second down in a lot. <laughs> he had it for a second there. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he punches. That ball was almost intercepted. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too.
second down and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Strike like, oh, a great catch, and he picks up. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outman. First down and nine. is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He could go all the... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled, but... And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. Uh, that's why he's on defense, schmuck. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! You know, with orcs, we'll never be the strongest. With robots, we'll never be the smartest. With aliens, we'll never be the fastest. <laughs> but I will be damned if we don't have the best moves. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. <laughs> when I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. <laughs> oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception. Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stuff. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Hey, man, I was here on the now. <laughs> the offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last... Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> The 
defense is no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. First and two. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Yeah. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Yeah. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down and long. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Hey, you see that little lady? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Is he proud of that? Yeah. That's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He scores! And look how happy that little demon is after that score. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Only two minutes left in the game. Second down and more than the QB would like.
They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Third down and forever. And he breaks away. And he's off to the races. The defense calls a second time out. They really need to make a stop here. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense... Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> Second down. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And with another pick, the oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbits. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. To I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. I was house camel and silo. I own hell and I'll sell him. And it's first and ten. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has... The Colts walk away victors today. Yeah, except for that one guy down the field with his head knocked off. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mullen.
Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right.